After a two and a half hour drive from Manila, we are here in uh, Santa Maria in uh, Laguna at the Shepherd's Ridge Mountain Resort, folks. And that's my Tiki Bungalow. That's where I'll be staying tonight and then I'm heading back to Manila. And you're probably thinking, oh yeah, you really need a break after your two nights of five-star luxury at the Peninsula Hotel. Boy, this is steep. Uh, uh, and, I, and I do. <laughs> and so I've come up here to the Shepherd's Ridge Mountain Resort in Laguna for, uh, for, a, for a night. Uh, I'll show you inside the bungalow later, uh, but now we're heading to lunch. There's the chef. Oh no, there's the chef. Are we over here? Yes, over here. Oh, nice. This is Leanne, is it? Hi, Leanne. Jan. 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 Oh, Jan. Sorry. It's Jan, not Leanne. I'm Marshall. Hi. Where do you want me to sit? Over here. Over here. This is a welcome drink, is it? What is it? Uh, with pandan and wild honey with lemongrass. Pandan wild honey with lemongrass. Oh, that's hit the spot. Oh, that's very nice. So, yeah, it's a contra deal. They picked me up from the... Uh, SM Light Penitentiary and drove me here and uh, and we're just in the mountains. It's fantastic. Uh, there are all sorts of things to do here and some of them are a bit action and adventure. So we'll either do them later today or tomorrow. Uh, but first I'm starving so we'll have something to eat. We'll see what the food's like. Uh, and then uh, I'll show you the tiki bungalow that I've got. Uh, and, and then we'll see what, where we go from there. So what's happening is uh, the cooks are preparing something for me, I don't know what, just to sort of show you a range of the things that they serve here in Don Genaro's Resto Bar. So I won't be ordering off the menu, I'll just wait and see what comes. This is Jay Ann again. White this, rice. This is white rice wrapped in a banana leaf. Thank you. But it's all starting to arrive now. So, what have we got? This can see cheese, this uh, beef, sour, red jackfruit. It's a sour beef soup with jackfruit? Yes. Ah, and what's it called? Kansi. Kansi, right. Fantastic. So this sort of selection from the kitchen, it's coming all at once. This is Inasal chicken. Chicken and arsal? Yes. Right. So chicken and arsal. And then there's another one. Is there? Oh boy. <laughs> How am I going to eat all of this? So lapu lapu. So this is a what a steamed fish? Yes. Maybe? Yeah. Wow, fantastic. So Jay Ann's um, giving me some soup. I think I'm going to need the staff to help me eat this. I want to wrap my my rice. All oh, right, terrific. Thank you. I'm going to try this soup. It's a sour soup, and I love sour soup. There's a huge chunk of beef in it. 
And then there's, that's jackfruit. I'm gonna have some of the chicken and arsel now. It comes with vinegar, soy sauce. These are chopped chilies. Um, and then there's some calamansi, which I put in with the soy sauce. Uh, and some rice here. Bring this over. I'm gonna try a little bit of this chili on top. A little bit of soy sauce and calamansi. It's great. Try some more chicken and arsehole. This, this sour soup is delicious. All right, well, so far, so good. Well, Jay Ann's on her break, but yes. Lex Hex is going to cut the fish. Oh, how would you like it cut so in slices? So. Um, just the way you do it. And I'm going to have this pickled mango. Yes, sir. We call it Nilasing Manga Po. We, it, it has beer on it, Po. I'm sorry? It has beer on it, Po. It has it, beer? Yes, Po. It's cooked in beer, is it? Uh, yes, sir. It's uh, actually uh, like marinated, sir. Uh, it's marinated in beer. Alright. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks for that. My first ever pickled mango. It lifts it. You probably get the extraneous noise, but I had to turn the fan on. Because it's just too hot. And now it's nice. I, I turned the fan off because I didn't want to have that noise in the background. But, uh, the heat beat me. Alright, I'm just about full. Um, I'll have another piece of chicken in arsehole. <coughs> uh, after this, we'll go and have a bit of an, ex an explore. Uh, because I, I still haven't had time to have a, a good look around. The whole resort's built into the side of a mountain. So when you walk anywhere, you walk up these big hills. But they've got what they call a ATVs, which I think they say all-terrain vehicle. And in Australia, we call them um, quad bikes. We've got quad bikes you can, you can borrow and ride around. <laughs> on the zip line, a lot of other things. I will show you. Fish was great, chicken and arsehole was great, but the most unusual and the winner for me was this little baby. All right, I'm gonna have a coffee and then we're gonna go and have a, a wander. Oh. oh, that was a beautiful coffee. They're um, local coffee beans, well, they're Filipino coffee beans. Um, and the barista really knows how to make a coffee, which is good, which is extremely lucky. My guide seems to have disappeared. So what we'll do is I'll go and show you the room, or the bungalow. It's called a, a Tiki Hut. Balinese inspired. Oh boy, another hill. It's very quaint. This is it. Very elegant. It's got air conditioning over there. 
and a fan. Uh, and of course, it's got its own bathroom. So the shower with a water heater, sink, toilet, everything you could want, uh, and a double bed. It's just going to be me, but it's beautiful. So straight after a big lunch, he went swimming. No wonder he drowned. <laughs> oh, that was a good timing. Just showing you one of the most beautiful views you'll ever see and then someone starts a chainsaw. <laughs> so get it while it lasts. Uh, so this is the beautiful swimming pool. Apparently it's four feet deep over there, six feet deep in the middle and five feet deep here. All right, here I go. Don't worry, I'm not planning on swan diving in. Yeah, it's five feet deep. Oh, oh this is pretty good. <laughs> so I'm here for one night. Uh, so it's, I'm having lunch, dinner, breakfast, <coughs> lunch. They picked me up from home and they're driving me home tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'll have an opportunity to use the zip line tonight. And I don't know if I'll chicken out uh, when I actually do go to the zip line, I was just talking to some guests and they said, oh no, we haven't used the zip line. Oh no, 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 it's a bit scary. Uh, but definitely the quad bikes uh, as soon as possible. So maybe after this swim, I'll see if it's, it's a little bit overcast and it's been threatening to rain. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we'll, we'll see. There's no hurry. You can always do it tomorrow morning. Uh, and, you know, the idea is to just relax. These are the pool rules. And, uh, I mean, at least I didn't break all the rules. Don't swim alone. Didn't break that one. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I had my lunch, had my swim and uh, had a little bit of a nap. And now I'm going up to have a look at the, uh, the zip line. Stairs everywhere. I think I might have a rest here for a second. Onward. These are the glamping huts. <laughs> I'll see if we can have a look in one of them at some stage. You got a nice view here. Yeah. Whoa. Do you mind if I come up and have a look? Sure. Thanks. It's to have you. Check out this view. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a sensational view. first time. Yeah, me too. It's great. Yeah, it's great. It's a view that we came after for when, when, when we decided. Are you staying in the glamping? Yeah. Wow. It's our, uh, it's our tent. Yeah, wow. Luxury tent. <laughs> I'm going to go and check out the zip line. See you around. Thanks for talking to me. Nice guy.
so this is the tower that the zip lines attached to and this is a rock wall climbing wall but it's obviously not properly set up just at the moment and this is the zip line let's go up oh no we can't And apparently the concept is you go there and then I think you, you come back. There's another lookout just here. Looks like it'll have a pretty good view. high up here but it's still hot it's not cool like Baguio so we're going to descend what we just ascended oh it's even an effort walking down I feel like I've achieved something <laughs> not exactly sure what our landscape gardener and back to the restaurant dinner time beautiful people there's no one around so I can take my mask off we're going back to Don Gennaro's Henaro's and uh, I've got a light in my eyes and I'm trying to navigate some steps and I've had a frantic day and I'm starving and here it is and it's a lovely little place I love it And so again, uh, just like lunch, dinner is going to be a, a selection of things that uh, the chefs put together for us. Uh, and uh, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what that. I, I believe it's Italian. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the pizza oven to warm up. So I don't know how many of these that will take, but whatever it is, that's fine with me. Yeah. comes our first course. Sardine and onion pizza. This is a sardine and onion pizza. This is our waiter person, our beautiful waiter person. And this is beautiful sardine and onion pizza. Now, I know you're thinking sardine and onion. Did I hear correctly? Yes, you did. It's a Spanish influence. Spanish influence to this pizza and I can tell you I've never had a sardine and onion pizza <laughs> it goes together really well the sardines to me are almost in place of anchovies thin crust pizza very nice So when I spoke to the chef and I said, what are you making me for dinner? <clears throat> and she said, well, we'll start with a sardine and onion pizza. I said, well, sorry, sardine and onion. And she said, yeah, it's a sardine and onion pizza. And I thought, righto. And it's really nice. It's really nice. To use an Australian expression, this place is fair dinkum off the beaten track. And it's only been open since March. Shepherd salad. That's what's left of the pizza. Shepherd salad. And now I've got a shepherd salad. What 
what, what is that? Mm. What's a shepherd salad, chef? Mm. So our shepherd salad consists mm. of the lettuce, then mm. there's red onions, tomatoes. Hang on a second. This is our chef. Hi. And then. Mm. So it's like a garden salad. Mm. Yeah. And Any surprises? Mm. It's dressing. It's a patisse dressing. But this dressing, it's a fish sauce dressing. A fish sauce dressing? Yeah. And then there's charred caisson pote or white cheese. Right. And some cashew nuts. Caisson pote. Is it just me or are the wines getting bigger? Perfect. <laughs> Very good. Last meal before the zip line. All right, in keeping with the seafood theme, we have a salmon and caper pasta. The creamy sauce, a little bit of lemon on it, the capers coming in fairly simple it's pan fried salmon it's not um, it's not smoked this merlot is pretty good a bucket with a handle so I'm just annoying the people at the table next to me and they've got the same pasta as me but they've got some other really interesting looking dishes and I'm just asking them now, what's this one? This one? That one. This one is spinning yam and yeah. yeah. Chicken with pineapple chunks. Right, in a yeah. um, coconut milk. A yeah. coconut milk, yeah. right. And what's that? And this one is the sling squid with banana. <laughs> with oh, some banana. With banana. Yes, banana. Wow. they put some banana. And what's that over there? That's your dessert. Um, the sun's rebel. But that's dessert? Yes, dessert. Right. And this one is mango with alcohol. Mango. Yeah, mango with, with alcohol. wine. With, with alcohol. wine, with wine. Mango with wine. <laughs> yeah. No alcohol. And what was your right. rice? Did you get adobo rice? Yes, it's adobo rice. Uh. Right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well Wasn't that nice of them? It's an interesting menu here. A lot of things I've never never seen or heard of before. And for those of you perhaps who haven't been to Southeast Asia or the Philippines and who can hear this very strange noise behind me, that's, they're frogs. Well for me, the pasta was delicate and very nice. The salad was healthy and tasty. But the pizza was the clear winner. That was absolutely delicious. Well, that's all I can eat. I can't eat any more. I'm absolutely full. It was delicious. I've finished my Merlot, my bucket of Merlot, and I'm going to my Tiki Hut, and I'm going to sleep. And I'll see you in the morning.